I like oh, well timed, well timed lights. <laughs> Couldn't make that up, could you? Hey Texters, what's going on? Nice little live stream because as I ah, promised, you? I'll pause that. I've got to do some unwrapping. That video that I said had to get to a thousand likes got to a thousand. So I thought I'd go live now, do some midweek orders. Quite a few subscriber sales, so got to give a thanks and shout outs to certain people. And then afterwards, I'm gonna film a nice little video for a nice little weekend video. Got to unwrap the subscriber haul, which is a lot, and I forgot what's in there. So yeah, hope we're all good. Uh, I was just letting a few people jump in. That was quite cool music, wasn't it? <laughs> so yeah, good morning everyone. How are we all doing? I see who's jumped in. Shazad was first in. Hey Shazad. Is business still booming with the medication, pharmacy bits? Andrea M, hello. Mike Dando, Jack Roberts, Jordan, Joe Andrews. Uh, who else we got here? Matthew Savage Smale. I think I say said it. Knight's Life, Henry B, Snicko TV, Council Estate Reseller. Uh, Chris Tyler, Claire, uh, oh, it's just jumped. Claire's in, uh, who else? We've got George Winchester. Yeah, we're all keeping well. Uh, been a view for a while, but never managed to get in for a live. Well, welcome, welcome to the live. Obviously you've hit that notifications bell, like I always say, so welcome. So yeah, I won't linger too much. Um, I'm all, I've already got you attached to the head mount, so I've got away of that. I've got how many orders going out? been a good week uh, so I was here Monday so these orders are from Monday night till obviously this morning I don't think I've had a sale this morning so from Thursday night I'll just double check yeah no sales so far today so Monday night to Thursday night we've got 16 orders going out and there's some again a few big hitters or a couple of big hitters at least a couple of surprises um, yeah a nice mix so and we've got in it says 70 on my chat if you are in obviously there's a live chat down below so whack any questions in i'll keep an eye on it as i'm going through my orders answer any questions if there's a little gap like take a halfway point or halfway break maybe and yeah that's about it really so let's get you on my head this is the bit i've got to sort out properly here we go right just give me a minute to sort out my angle. Make sure you can Adjusted. actually see what's going there on. There we go. There we go. Right. All right. Just give me a minute to sort out my angle. Make sure you can Adjusted. actually see what's going There's on. There's a little right. delay. There we go. Right. All right. Just give me a minute to sort out my angle. That's good. Make sure you can actually see what's going on. All right. Let's delay. pause that. And without any further ado, let's crack on. First sale is a small one from a £2 subscriber haul from Instagram. Uh, oh, yeah. I've had a little sort out before I start. Uh, Friday and then this morning I might be a bit sniffling because I was sorting out clothes, sorting out the boxes and I'm allergic to dust <laughs> so I got up under my nose or up my nose but that's all sorted now, that's Amy's rack she's got a nice rack for herself and yeah I had a little sort out so it's a lot neater anyway so what was the first one? I forgot now yeah £2 horse, nothing special to start this one Everything cost me £2. I'm way into profit, so this is pure profit. Just a uh, plain Calvin Klein jeans t-shirt, like a v-neck, size medium. Gone for £7.22 plus the postage. Uh, yeah, there we go. Just a nice thing. I would have kept that, but I don't do v-necks. So yeah, nice little sale to get us started. In fact, I'll put sales over here. I'll start building up. Uh, another subscriber haul and we sold two of them. Someone took ages to pay and the other one sold and paid straight away. And if you would have seen these quite a bit on my channel throughout the winter and going into this year. Vintage tennis shorts, sold two. Separate buyers, uh, the first one that went was the filler pair. This was from a subscriber haul, like I said, uh, which I'm way into profit on already. So pure gravy yet again. Just a nice pair of 80s filler shorts. I think they were, um, 32 inch waist 32 34 34 inch waist my size again but yeah they're not flattering on me i did try them on <laughs> it was just laughable uh 18 pound 39 plus postage um i took like four or five days to pay 
And then we've got $22.99 for this nice pair of Adidas. Adidas always gets the stronger prices. Plain design, just a white short. I think 34 inch waist again, maybe 32. Pretty sure it's one of each from what I remember. Oops. Uh, here we go. It's a bit screwed up where it's been in a wash throughout the years. Uh, oh, 33 inch waist. There we go. It's an odd size. Normally sizes go up in evens, but yeah, 33 inch. $22.99 plus postage. That again was from the subscriber haul, came in the same box. So yeah, there we go. What was that? 22 and 18, like 40 pounds in tennis shorts. So yeah, awesome. And another easy pack. <clears throat> okay, so that's then paid. Yeah, morning everyone. If you have just got in, uh, whack some comments or questions in the chat. I'll try and keep up with as many as I can. Um, <laughs> Amy's got a nice rack. It is a nice rack. Yeah, a bit scruffy, but she hasn't been here uh, too tired yet. So we'll let her off with that. Okay. Oh, sorry about the sniff. Uh, boots projector from the electronics hall. Oh, I've moved my electronics. Uh, this one. Be careful. Again, uh, subscribe, no, not subscriber hall, electronics hall back in October time. Got a van full of electronics and I can't remember how to take this off. I think there's a screw, so I might not be able to take off the front. No, I'll, I'll leave it for now. <laughs> but it's basically just a projector made by Boots, like the chemist. So it's not like a higher value thing or anything. I've got £25 plus £5 postage. Obviously it's nice and square. I've got quite a few square boxes. In fact, I've got this one here. So that'll go straight in there. Uh, pure profit yet again. Way into profit on the electronics hall. I've only got a handful of items left from that hall actually. Yeah, so that seems to be the theme today. Just getting pure profit from things, from big hauls that I've made recently. Okay, put them shorts. This was from the loft. Uh, I've moved these as well. Where did I move my books? Oh, here we go. Uh, just got to make sure I get the right one. It was this one. Like with the Harry Potter book, the uh, first edition Chamber of Secrets, that went for a nice sum of money. There was also this one I put away. This is uh, the third book, Prisoner of Azkaban, hardback, uh, printed by Bloomsbury, or published by Bloomsbury. And then if we go to the copyright page, numbers 10 down to 2, so it's the second printing, first edition. So, uh, obviously not as rare as the second book, Chamber of Secrets, but I still managed to get £29.99 for this book, which owes me like one, two pound from a charity shop. So yeah, awesome sale there. When you get your Harry Potter books, I always check for the edition. The first four books, especially the first three, but Goblet of Fire can be worth a little bit if it's the first edition. But the old, like the old, nah, the newer the book, sorry, in the series, then yeah, the more they printed. So, um, yeah, it's not rare to find first editions. Which printer do I use for my labels? Do that one quickly. Zebra GK420D. Links in the description. I think that's for Amazon. I don't think it's the cheapest. Oh dear. Uh, question from Josh quickly. Will you consider dipping into the gaming market when you go back to sourcing after the recent boom in people buying? I do buy gaming stuff if I can, but I don't tend to bother at boot sales because there's, you know, the people, they gather around the boot before it's even open. Have you got gaming stuff? Have you got gold? Have you got Lego? Have you got records? All that sort of stuff. I stay away from. I'll still pick it up if I do find it, but yeah, I keep away from that sort of stuff because there's such high competition. Right, a uh, pair of diesel jeans. Uh, which ones? Uh, women's ones. I've got a dedicated bottoms, like jeans and bottoms, uh, what's it, tub now. And I think it's these ones. Yeah, it's these ones. This is from a subscriber again. Uh, not bought from a subscriber, I don't think. Haven't got to any yet. Um, but this was uh, sourced from a subscriber. Uh, this pair of women's diesel jeans. Uh, they had a name, Matic. Waist 27, regular leg. Uh, it's gone for 16.99 plus two pound postage. Obviously, if you do find diesel jeans, 
it's a nice profit maker um if you find them cheap anyway but i don't think they're as high as they used to be i think you used to be able to get in the 20s for diesel jeans or any sort of jean like levi's but competitions obviously flooded the market and you won't get as much but still 16.99 that'll do me Uh, I can confirm gaming stuff is a complete nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, high competition stuff. I tend to stay away from and I pick up the sort of the more obscure, rarer stuff if I can. And we have our first subscriber sale. So this is from Ben. Hi, George. Just a message to say, keep up the great work. Your videos are awesome. Uh, sunglasses emoji. Shout out to my fiance, Jesse and daughter, Liana. I think that's Liana. Uh, cheers mate ben so thanks ben for this sale and i saw this one earlier when i sorted out got this from a charity shop i think it was five pounds uh hang on a second where is it there it is football shirt uh just a spanish international team size 2xl and it's brand new with tags which is why i picked it up for five pounds got 15 pound and a penny plus postage so 18 altogether could have held out for a bit more but subscriber always going to give you a good deal if you are ever interested again hit me a message on like facebook or instagram or email me i'm sure i'll give you a good deal um or you can if you're interested in buying something from ebay then i don't mind messaging on ebay but if there's anything business related or general questions uh ask not to message on ebay i won't uh, reply at all i want to keep ebay for ebay i don't want to get in trouble with the ebay bots or anything um yeah uh who's it ben Thanks for the sale, Ben. Really appreciate it. And it'll be going out today, obviously, after this video. Nice and easy to pack again. All big, juicy sale. This one. From the loft. I thought I had three of these, um, but I only had two. So one still in the loft, my personal collection. This was a uh, warm. Oh, hang on. Let me pay up. Walmart only. Um, so only in America. Uh, it's the Quest for Indominus Rex pack, Jurassic World, like the latest film. And inside, if I turn it around, you get uh, the Mosasaurus, like the real feel one that you can buy separately. You've got the submarine that can buy, be bought separately as well. But this is exclusive to the set, the Indominus Rex skeleton. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. So yeah, um, exclusive, exclusive set only to good, um, not Goodwill. What's the name? I just said it. Walmart, that's it. <laughs> Exclusive set only to Walmart. Bought it on eBay for about 35, 40 pounds, like with shipping and everything. It's been in my loft for about a year and a half and I've just sold it 150 pound, 149.99 plus a bit of postage. I think five pound, five pound postage. So yeah, nice meaty sale there. A really cool item. And I've still got one for myself. That's not for sale. Um, Michael Wakeford, have you ever had a delivery to a prison? If so, any advice? Just got an order for some DVDs and a delivery dress is a prison. No, I haven't. Um, I've had like a delivery to a royal person. I, it wasn't like Buckingham Palace, but it was like a royal something or other. My best ever sale was to the YouTuber PewDiePie. I sold a CRT TV to him, like this one. I picked it up for free and his name came up on the order and it went to Brighton, that's where he lives, um, Felix Kelsberg, whatever his name is. And then if you go back on his videos about a year ago, you'd see a little TV. Yeah, he bought that from me. So that's my favourite ever sale, like celebrity type sale. Uh, right, next order, another cheap one, but something that's just pure profit again and I've forgotten. Ah, book's down here. Sold a load, well I've got a load of manuals that I've just listed cheap, doesn't owe me anything and I've got £6 for this Sanko uh, projector manual, that's literally all it is, just a bit of paper with like vintage instructions basically, £6 plus postage to cover a large letter, I could send this as a, hang on, let me get this, I could send this as a regular letter, obviously because it will fit in an envelope, but the problem with that is it won't be tracked and I want it to be tracked. So I will send it as a large letter just to cover my own back. Like 
I know it's quite high, like the percentage you send it not tracked and then people say they haven't got it and you've got to refund them. But yeah, massive headache, but I've charged for a large letter anyway, so that's fine. Uh, this was a personal item. I bought these from a boot sale to sell, but I ended up keeping them last year. Uh, owe me two, three pound. Some Nike mid blazers in grey. Obviously size 10. Yeah, if I was wearing them, it would be a 10. Uh, 19 99 plus postage uh, yeah I would buy these to resale if it is cheap like two whatever pound two four pound probably four pound I'd pay maximum to return 19.99 so yeah there you go bog standard bill payer <coughs> try not to sniff <laughs> I haven't got any allergy tablets with me um oh there you go uh, council state resale I've sent to prisons and just send as normal uh, so there you go uh, where do you find the print number on Harry Potter books? The print number. Like this is what I can probably guarantee this will be a first edition, like the last book. This is simply at the front. So you've got obviously the blank one. There'll be the title, another title. It's this one here with all like the publishing date and everything. And then right at the bottom, there you go, first edition. But that's not rare. These were printed in their millions, probably, the last book. It's the first three books. So you've got Prisoner of Azkaban, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner, Philosopher's Stone, <laughs> Chamber of Secrets and Prisoner of Azkaban. And then if you get the Goblet of Fire, the fourth book in a first edition, that can be worth it. I think that can be like, I don't know, that's the first edition there. Goblet of Fire, first edition. Shall I do a bit of live research? Let's have a look. I'm pretty sure Nick Hills sold a first edition for £30 in his recent video. Let's have a look. Goblet of Fire, Hardback, Bloomsbury, first edition. Let's have a look, shall we? Uh, sold. Uh, we'll do buy it now. So that's how I would sell it. There you go, £30. Someone sold it for £12, £20, 10 10 26 but up and down, but if someone got 30, I'm pretty sure Nick got 30. Uh, after this book though, which is the yellow book, which is this one, this is probably first edition as well. Anything after this book in first edition, they were printed in the hundreds of thousands or millions by the end book. So yeah, don't get excited, but yeah, first four books will be worth good money if you can find a first edition. Uh, back to sales. Uh, I've got to find it now, where I was. Uh, done that one. This is a personal sale and a subscriber sale as well. Uh, from Dan. Hi George, love your videos and information you give. Glad to help in these tough times. Cheers Dan. And thanks Dan, I really appreciate it. Um, as always. And it will be in here. Here we go. Also got my Nintendo, my original one. Uh, back in the, what is it, Christmas 98 I think I got mine. Um, I went through some games, I sold Resident Evil, I I didn't have that originally, so I didn't mind letting that go for £60 or whatever I sold it for. And there's this game as well, I'm not a fan of Star Wars, so it was just lingering, I'm not going to play it again for nostalgia. Um, so yeah, just cart only, £7.64 plus £2.99 postage, and it's going to a subscriber, Dan. Thanks again, Dan. And again, easy post. Bonus for me. Ooh. Okay, another subscriber sale and another message from Rob. Hi George, just a quick message. I really enjoy your YouTube channel along with yourself, The Hills, Lonnie, Craig's, Lissanta, good list there. Uh, need my daily fix. I'm a part-time reseller, striving and dreaming, trying to make a future business. Thought I'd buy an item that I'd like, give a little back to you. Thanks Rob. What's that? Is that your eBay shop? Robar9768. So cheers, Rob. I really appreciate that. Yeah, times are tough. Sales are still going well. Oh, um, yeah, but yeah, really appreciate it. And I did see this one when I saw it out. And it was this one. Subscribe the subscriber sale from a subscriber haul again from the unboxing. Uh, this nice Guinness like fleece uh, jumper type thing. Official Guinness merchandise, size medium or medium slash large. I'm pretty sure it's a medium anyway. 
yeah and um, what did i get 12 pounds 74 plus 2.99 postage uh pure gravy again pure profit rain to profit now on that little box that i got and it's going to a subscriber so even better so thanks again to who i bought it from and who i sold it to awesome stuff i'd be stuck <laughs> i'd be majorly stuck without me uh subscribers and we've got another subscriber sale what's that three in a row we've got a hat trick a subscriber with some taste of course because it's an arsenal shirt here we go boom i think this is a size uk small it's a recent uh, season made by puma fly emirates and little message i'll get your name oh wait my name is andy ah so thanks andy if you are watching or watching this back later thanks george my name is andy i'm a subscriber love the videos just wanted to support you where i could i buy and sell football shirts so this purchase is a no-brainer keep up the good work on youtube mate stay safe thumbs up cheers andy yeah good taste as well like i said um where did i get this from I can't remember where I got this, but I got £12.74, have I already said that, plus £2.99 postage, no name on the back, which could have added a bit of value, but a blank, camp for, blank canvas for someone to do whatever they want or just leave it. Steady sale, and it's gone to a subscriber again. And an easy pack. Um, love the Arsenal top, yep. Yeah. Uh, one of the worst kits we've ever had. My favourite ever one. Uh, was probably the one when we went invincible and we had like the gold strap. That's one of my favourites. Arsenal shirt is run out of toilet paper. No, no. I sold the Spurs curtains. That was toilet paper. Oh no, they went to a subscriber. Sorry, I didn't use it as toilet paper. <laughs> this is a nice surprise sale. Uh, Twenty two ninety nine for a remote control. Uh, if I move that there, oh, I can't remember what what one I put in. Not that one. I know what remote it is. Of course it's in the last one I look in. Oh no, it's this one. There you go, it's staring at me. Uh, uh, yep, this is the one. Uh, yeah, I collect the spare remotes and keep them in case I get a unit without a remote. Now I can pair them up. Because stock's getting hard to get, I just listed them all anyway. So it owes me like nothing if it came with a unit that would have sold for parts anyway. Toshiba, this is for a VHS to DVD recorder, it's a high-end machine. And this remote on its own, £22.99 plus £3 postage. Nice little bonus. I think we've got a couple more sales. A pair of shoes. Two more sales. I'll do this subscriber sale first. Uh, thanks for accepting my offer. I really enjoy watching it, your YouTube channel and find it very informative. Keep up the good work. Regards, Ange, for a Christmas item, which was a surprise. Accepted a good offer on this, only £7 and a penny, plus postage, so £10 all in. Uh, just this Christmas wreath, like musical one. Quite a big box. But uh, yeah, I wanted to clear space. Obviously, we're not near Christmas anytime soon, hopefully. Uh, so yeah, come to a subscribe again. So thanks again, Ange. I'll get this box up and on its way to you. Uh, let's put that there. There we go. And I think we got one more. Yeah, last one. Not a subscriber sale, a regular sale. Um, I think I've had a sort out of these as well. All right, I'm pretty sure it's in my leather shoes. Here are. Brand new, unworn but unboxed uh, St. Michael's MS, so like vintage uh, MS boat shoes. Uh, bought these at a charity shop. Uh, let's see if I wrote how much I spent on them. £5 listed in November. Oh, there you go. Brand new with the sticker still on UK8. £5 into £21.67 plus postage. So really good. Obviously, if these were used, MS um might not have bothered. I don't think you'd get too much. But I literally bought them because they were brand new. And boat shoes, obviously not a winter shoe, which is why they take until April to sell. So again, another nice bill payer. And that is the final one.
Let me just double check. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Actually, I made a Spock sale that I forgot about. Um, ah, Spock sale. Where did I put that? Uh, oh, here it is. Sold tank on Spock for £12 or £14 plus postage. Um, Rosetta Stone. Be aware of Rosetta Stone on eBay. You're not actually allowed to sell it. It's against their Vero program. So you'll get flagged and yeah, it'll put your account at risk if you keep relisting it. It's just a language course for German. Uh, found it in a charity shop for like two, three pounds. It's like just discs and everything. It looks hardly used at all. Was I knew I couldn't sell it on eBay, so I tried Facebook and Spock and went on Spock. Uh, £12 or 14 I can't remember now, plus postage. So, uh, yeah, I forgot about that one. So, quite lucky I remembered. And that is the final one. Uh, let's see if I've got any questions. Uh, where did I get my workbench? Uh, a couple of people have asked that, and I keep meaning to get the link for it. I'll try and remember a bit later after this has uh, been published. Yeah, just a packing workbench. Um, I can't remember where from, but I will put the link. I think it cost about £155 free postage. Um, not from Amazon. It's from a proper like um, warehousing company because it's like, nice and metal. But yeah, I love this bench. Obviously, keep my packaging under here, all my cardboard, all my void fill. Nice big, I think you can buy it in different lengths. This is 1500 mil. You can buy 1200 and then 1700, so it can get bigger. It all depends. I've got me my metal pipe so I can unwrap and then extras up here. So, yeah, um, yeah, I call this one a day. I've got a crack on and I've got to film the unboxing because you lovely lot got that video to a thousand, set a little milestone if we could get hit a thousand and we did so i got to crack on with that i got to crack on with packing so thanks again for watching if you are watching after hit that like button or if you're watching now hit the like button make sure you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video which will be the unpacking so see you later bye bye